Hey, a pleasant happy Tuesday, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a quick video on the GOAT Tom Brady, who's one of the rarities to end his career better numbers-wise than he started uh, his career and just never have a bad season in his entire career. Decides to hang him up. First and foremost, please to subscribe down below or up above on the easy use widget to help us get to the goal of 200 by the end of February. Thank you, and a special thanks to those that have subscribed uh, this far. Um, Tom Brady uh, announced officially announced his retirement today. It got reported by Adam Sheffer, of course, early. He officially announced it today. Um, he started his career very good with the Patriots, but more mixed in, and they opened up the mixed in shorter passes, and they opened up the playbook as time went on, and he proved that he wasn't uh, ruled by Bill Belichick. He won a Super Bowl with the um, Tampa Bay Buccaneers as well, and had an MVP level season in his final season, going over forty touchdown for back-to-back -back seasons uh, with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, where last season I believe it was exactly 40, and then this year it was 43. Uh, so TB12, he's going to go on to do great things outside of football if he wants to be on TV. He also has his production company and already has other facets outside of football. So best of luck in his endeavors outside of football. We know he's going to be successful in those. And then if he wants to be on television about the game, obviously uh, anyone is going to want Tom Brady on their network to talk about the game. He's already done stuff for ESPN+. Plus. But when it comes to the quote from Tom himself, he said, I've always believed that the sport of football is an all-in proposition. If a 100% competitive commitment isn't there, you won't succeed, and success is what I've loved so much about our game. Uh, he, there is a physical, mental, and emotional challenge every single day that has allowed me to maximize my highest potential. All I have tried my very best these past 25 years there are no shortcuts to success on the field or in life. Um, he said, this is difficult for me to write, but here it goes. I'm not going to make this competitive commitment anymore. I have loved my NFL career, and now it is time to focus my time and energy on other things that require my attention. I've done a lot of reflecting the past week, and I've asked myself difficult questions, and I'm so proud of what we have achieved. My teammates, coaches, fellow competitors, and fans deserve 100% of me, but right now it's best that I leave the field of play to the next generation of dedicated and committed athletes. Um, obviously, Brady's considered the greatest in NFL history above Joe Montana, where you have to be one of the goats of all time to make that man less talked about than he really should be, because Joe Montana was that dude still as well, and he's not even talking about as much because of what has currently happened before our eyes with Tom Brady playing until 44 and doing great things until 44. We see in other sports guys play uh, into their 40s, but we don't really see them obtain the greatness that Brady did till till the end. Uh, Brett Favre was good um, into his 40s, but if you look at his numbers, he didn't uh, finish his career better than he started it. Like, he wasn't the same GOAT status where Brady, Rude could argue, even did that, finish his career numbers-wise, if you look at them better than he actually uh, started it and was at the very good level his entire career and never had a down year. You could say uh, Favre's the uh, Rothensburgers who didn't even make the uh, 40, but but those guys did have down years. And then if you take it to other sports, again, no charge a shell of himself now in his 40s. Chris Chelios wasn't the same guy, even though he played to 48. So Brady maintained the same competitiveness and really the same play and almost got better uh, with age statistically um, because he was just a brilliant mind quarterback. He obviously never had the most absolute ridiculous athletic talents, but he took the brilliance he had in terms of his mindset about the game of football and supplied that to keeping his body 100% healthy for the game of football and 100% in locked in um, on the game of football on the field. His smarts in the game of football and his smarts off the field in terms of keeping his body at 100% is what allowed him to have this spectacular like no other career that Tom Brady was able to have. Um, statistically, to end his career, he finishes with 84,520 84, yards, excuse me, 624 touchdowns, and he finished this year with 43 touchdowns in his second season of his career to have over 5,000 yards. Um, Tom Brady, in his first full season, had 18 touchdowns and 28 touchdowns. So again, uh, he really finished his career better than he started. You can't say that about most. And he never had a bad season in his career playing to 44. So hats off to Tom Brady for a hell of a career. Um, it's obviously good to be sad not seeing the GOAT in football anymore, but he's going to do great things outside of football. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Hope you enjoyed this video on Tom Brady's career. Please subscribe down below or above on the Easy Juice widget to help us get to 200 by the end of February. Congratulations to Tom Brady on one of the best 
careers in the history of sports, not just in football. Peace out, everybody.